Today I'm going to show you how to turn this rough cut oak cookie into a beautiful wall clock. The first thing I did was take it to the CNC to remove all the high spots. Once I had a relatively flat surface, I flipped it over and did the same to the back side. The first bit I used put a ton of burn marks into the wood, so I purchased a specific spoil board and slab flattening bit from Tools Today, which did a phenomenal job. I'll put a link for that and all other products I used in the description. Once I was satisfied with the thickness of the cookie, I started sanding to make the surface as smooth as possible. I started with 80 grit and worked all the way down to 320. Using a dental pick, I removed the crud and excess bark, and then I taped up the bottom of the cookie using tack tape. This is a really sticky tape that works well with epoxy. I'm using a toddler's medicine syringe to squeeze the epoxy into the cracks. These cracks gave me a lot of trouble as they not only reached the underside, but sometimes to the edge, which allowed the epoxy to leak out. I ended up using three small pores to get all the cracks filled and left the epoxy to cure for a couple of days, which made the tack tape hard to remove. I took off as much as I could with a razor knife and eventually put the CNC to scrape off the last little bit. Here you can see the cookie completely covered in epoxy. I would have been okay with the look of it if I didn't leave the pigment in. However, the pigment settled in an uneven fashion that I didn't like the look of. I went back to the CNC to remove the epoxy. I did super thin slices at it, about a hundredth of an inch per pass. I didn't want to cut into the wood at all, just remove the epoxy layer. And then do a final pass with 320 on the sander to get it smooth. Next, I'm finding the center of the cookie. I use a set of calipers to measure the thickness of the movement to figure out the size bit that I needed to use, and then I drill the hole for the movement to come through. Once the hole is done, I put the movement in and mark the position of the back piece to be routed out using a plunge router. I'm sorry for the overexposure here. I couldn't edit it out but at least you get to see how much of a dork I am with my safety gear and headlamp. Now for every woodworker's favorite part, applying some finish. This is furniture finish from Walrus Oil. I absolutely love this stuff. Look at that grand pop. So once again, here's the before and after. Thank you very much for watching.